The rain poured relentlessly, a deluge that seemed to devour the world outside. In a small town nestled amidst dense woods, the streets were deserted, swallowed by darkness and the incessant downpour. Emily, a timid college student, found herself stranded at a bus stop on the outskirts of town. She clutched her backpack close, hoping desperately for the bus to arrive and rescue her from the ominous night. As minutes stretched into hours, Emily's anxiety grew. The bus schedule had promised a pickup 20 minutes ago, yet there was no sign of its headlights piercing through the foggy veil of rain. She checked her phone, no signal. With a sigh, she resigned herself to waiting, the only sound her own heartbeat and the relentless drumming of raindrops. Out of the corner of her eye, Emily noticed movement. A figure emerged from the shadows, a girl about her age, drenched and shivering. The stranger's appearance was unsettling. Her clothes clung to her like wet paper, and her hair hung in sodden strands across her face. Emily hesitated, unsure whether to acknowledge her presence or pretend not to notice. Excuse me, the girl's voice cut through the sound of rain. Do you know when the bus is coming? Emily felt a pang of relief. I've been waiting too. Should be any minute now, she replied, her voice barely audible over the storm. The girl nodded, taking shelter under the awning with Emily. Despite the comfort of companionship, unease settled in Emily's gut. There was something off about the girl, her eyes seemed vacant, her expression blank as she stared into the distance. Emily shifted uncomfortably, attempting to break the silence. I'm Emily, she offered tentatively. No response. The girl continued to stare ahead, unmoving, as if lost in another realm beyond the rain-drenched night. Minutes passed like hours, the bus still a distant hope. Emily's nerves frayed with each passing moment, the eerie atmosphere only intensifying. She glanced at the girl again, who remained motionless, her presence unsettlingly silent. I think I'm going to walk, Emily announced suddenly, her decision born from equal parts impatience and discomfort. The girl turned slowly, her eyes locking onto Emily's with an intensity that sent a chill down her spine. Don't, she whispered, her voice a mere breath above the rain. It's not safe out there. Emily faltered, her resolve weakening. What do you mean? But the girl said nothing more, her gaze unwavering. Fear crept up Emily's spine as she contemplated her options. The bus might still come. It had to come. Yet, a voice inside her urged caution. A primal instinct warning her of unseen dangers lurking in the darkness beyond the bus stop's feeble shelter. Time lost meaning in the torrential night. Emily and the girl remained locked in a silent standoff, their unspoken fears mingling with the rain-soaked air. Another hour passed, the bus a distant memory now. Emily's mind raced with thoughts of home, safety, and the girl whose presence seemed to defy logic in this desolate place. Finally, Emily couldn't bear it any longer. I have to go, she declared, gathering her backpack and stepping out into the rain. The girl's hand shot out, gripping Emily's wrist with surprising strength. No, she hissed, her eyes wide with a mixture of fear and urgency. You must stay. Emily recoiled, her heart pounding. Why? Who are you? I can't explain, the girl pleaded, her voice cracking with desperation. But if you leave, you won't make it. Doubt gnawed at Emily's resolve. Was this girl a harbinger of doom, a spectral warning from the depths of the storm? Or was she just another lost soul, seeking refuge from the elements like Emily herself? A flash of lightning illuminated the scene, casting eerie shadows across the deserted road ahead. Emily hesitated, torn between fear and determination. With a deep breath, she wrenched her wrist free from the girl's grip and took a step forward into the tempest. The girl's scream pierced the air, a primal wail that resonated with the storm's fury. Emily spun around, heart racing as she faced the girl, now trembling violently in the shelter of the bus stop. You shouldn't have done that, the girl whispered, her voice a haunting echo in the night. Emily froze, terror seizing her chest. Lightning struck again illuminating the girl's face in stark relief. Her eyes gleamed with an otherworldly intensity, her expression contorted with a mixture of anguish and rage. Without another word, Emily turned and ran. 
The rain beat down mercilessly, blurring her vision and soaking her to the bone. She stumbled through the darkness, every shadow a potential threat, every gust of wind a sinister whisper. Behind her, the girl's voice carried on the wind, a mournful cry that seemed to echo from all directions. You can't escape. Emily's pulse raced as she sprinted through the woods, branches clawing at her clothes, mud sucking at her feet. Fear propelled her forward, the instinctual drive for survival overpowering all rational thought. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Emily burst through the tree line and into the welcoming glow of streetlights. Gasping for breath, she collapsed onto the pavement, her mind reeling with disbelief and terror. Had it been real? Or just a trick of the storm-addled mind? Days passed, but Emily could not shake the memory of that rainy night. The bus stop haunted her dreams, the girl's haunted eyes burned into her consciousness. She searched the news, asked around town, but no one had seen or heard of such a girl. Some nights, when the rain fell and the wind howled, Emily swore she heard a faint voice on the breeze, a whisper of warning, a chilling reminder of that fateful encounter. And always, she wondered, was the girl a harbinger of doom, a ghostly guardian, or something far more sinister that lurked in the darkness of a rainy night? Story No. 2. A Boy on a Rainy Night, Horror Story. On a stormy night, the rain cascaded down in relentless sheets, turning the world outside into a murky blur. In a quaint countryside cottage, nestled deep within a dense forest, lived a young boy named Tommy. He was alone that night, his parents away on a trip to town, leaving him with only the crackling fireplace for company. As the clock struck midnight, Tommy heard a faint tapping on the window. Startled, he peered into the darkness but saw nothing beyond the streaks of rain against the glass. Convinced it was just the wind, he returned to his book, trying to shake off the unease that gripped him. Minutes passed, and the tapping resumed. Louder this time, accompanied by a whispery voice calling his name. Tommy's heart raced as he cautiously approached the window. Through the fogged glass, he glimpsed a shadowy figure standing in the downpour, its face obscured by the storm. Fear gnawed at Tommy's insides, but curiosity drove him to open the window. The wind howled, and the figure stepped forward, a skeletal hand reaching out, beckoning him into the tempest. Frozen in terror, Tommy tried to scream, but his voice caught in his throat. The figure spoke, its voice a chilling whisper that echoed in Tommy's mind. Come with me, Tommy. Join us in the dark where no rain can touch. The boy's blood turned to ice as he stumbled backward, desperate to escape the grasp of the spectral visitor. But the door creaked open behind him, swinging wide to reveal a hallway bathed in an eerie blue light. Shadows danced on the walls, and a cold wind swept through the cottage, carrying with it the faint scent of decay. Tommy's instincts screamed at him to run, but his legs felt like lead. As he stood transfixed, the figure advanced, its form flickering like a dying candle. Tommy's mind raced with tales of lost souls and restless spirits haunting the woods. With a final surge of courage, he slammed the window shut, plunging the room into darkness. Silence descended, broken only by the steady drumming of raindrops against the roof. Tommy dared not move, his heart pounding in his ears. Had it been a trick of the storm, or had something truly beckoned him into the unknown? Morning broke with a timid light, revealing nothing amiss save for muddy footprints leading away from the cottage. Tommy never forgot that night nor the chilling invitation from beyond the veil of rain. And though years passed, the memory of the boy on that rainy night lingered, a haunting reminder of the thin boundary between the living and the dead.